6,500, five pounds, Coachman Freedom Express 281 rear living here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And before I get too far, I think this is a perfect moment to mention how we don't do dealer fees at Haylet RV, and that includes cleaning the camper before you show up. That's included in the price tag, so all of this shipping muck and grime on the front of this, uh, you know, as a result of the, the beautiful weather conditions and uh, as a result road conditions that we have here in southern Michigan currently, that will all be taken care of at no additional charge to you before you take it home. So if you can pardon our dust a little bit, uh, you'll have a, a brand new clean camper when you take it home from Haylet RV. Um, the there are multiple trim equipment levels uh, available on the freedom expresses this is the liberty edition which is their their highest equipment package um that's where the nose cap and some extra upgrades that i'll point out as we go come from so understand that this is a model with some uh optional equipment present so not every single 281 is going to look exactly like this now a couple neat things there's actually uh full length led lighting along the front of that pass-through storage so you can see through there i just don't have it on currently and we have a 42 cubic foot storage space up front here and you can see it even includes its own little picnic table very handy freedom express is uh kind of an unsung hero of the lightweight business it's one of the reasons i started putting these videos together is to really tell their story because they've got an amazing one um they are highly unusual in that they are a large ultralight and really in point of fact they were one of the very first travel trailer brands to say okay we're gonna build our campers lightweight but full-sized because before this before freedom express did what they did uh a lightweight trailer was always shorter it always had smaller slides and freedom express said forget that what why should somebody have to get a small camper just because they they have a reduced weight capacity you know and they started using better materials like asdel under the skin this has asdel laminated sidewalls which if you're not familiar with that there's all kinds of benefits to asdel it's lighter weight basically can't rot mold mildew uh, a little bit better rvos a whole bunch of things um so that allowed them to kind of build this uh, a big ultralight it's extra tall inside it's six foot nine inside instead of six and a half foot like a normal trailer with full deep slides now liberty edition's given us that full nose cap up here um it also uh has uh standard power stabilizers automatic stabilizers at that this uh iced over tongue jack housing pops open and actually has a nice little control pad built right on that that'll allow you to operate uh the jacks individually front to back or um or the tongue as it were as well as the entire system for automatic stabilization um what uh, the little things i like about freedom express are is the intelligent logic that goes into these like we have a centralized hookup location with your outside shower and black flush and water heater and all that right there separate cable and satellite hookups are also a nice little touch and it's it's little things like that it's the location of everything like your power cord is located back here right where the power post at the park is going to be located they try to keep everything bunched together in the most logical locations possible for you know your ease and convenience you may notice all the windows are heavily tinted your slide side windows do open for airflow the rear window opens for airflow um the uh slide sides are actually textured and and seal gripping so that they really grab that slide and, and close it you notice no spare tire on the back it's because it's actually mounted under the tongue they do that to leave the rear bumper open if you want to add a bike rack because i know a lot of people do that um it also helps with load equalization weight up front toes better than weight in the back ask any boat uh you know boating enthusiast that uh, big power awning. It does have tilt adjust. There's full length LED lighting at the base. The Liberty Edition gets the uh, upgraded aluminum steps. This one's kind of filthy from us. Uh, when it first arrives, we do an initial quality inspection before we actually accept the trailer. You'll get a nice look at the uh, clean steps up here. But before we get there, a couple things. Wide stance stability axles. These help the RV track a little bit better and load equalize better. Where these are important are people with big tow ratings on short wheelbase tow vehicles. People don't realize that, that your vehicle's tow base uh, is a factor you need to consider in relation to the length of the RV. But knowledge like that is why we do so good at Haylet RV and have good satisfaction ratings. Above that, oh, so in, in short, what these let you do is these let you cheat the wheelbase. It helps a shorter vehicle handle the trailer better, not get pushed around the road and get you killed. Because <laughs> that's bad. Outside TV hookups right above the wheels. And the Coleman Camp Grill. Instead of that black RVQ grill, which we've actually had a lot of customers say they don't like. This is a free-floating, high-output Coleman Camp grill. You can cook about 75 hot dogs per uh, one of those little throwaway pressurized bottles, 
and uh, they, they, like I said, it's fully mobile. You can take it anywhere you want. Now the second entry door here is what makes this thing pretty darn accessible, whether you're in transit or at a campsite, because uh, you know if the slide's closed, you can still get through it pretty darn well. Roof is full walk-on. Um, I mean, uh, I think I think we're pretty much good. We got aluminum structured walls, uh, laminated walls and uh, floor actually. Um, the roof is an aluminum perimeter with a uh, a wood skeletal structure. It's a weird hybrid construction, but it actually it works very well because it makes the roof and the walls marry up better because you have smooth aluminum against smooth aluminum connection instead of wood against aluminum. It works great. Let's hop inside. So a lot of brands have built this, uh, you know, two chairs in the back rear living room for a long time now. But uh, the Freedom Express continues to, to hang out amongst our lineup here at Halet RV, where we've actually phased this floor plan out from a lot of other brands. So where, why is this one proven more successful than the other ones? That's what I want to hit on. And the answer is, it's a lot of little things. It's a hundred little things they do better, different, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to start at the back and work our way around because we've got quite a few of those little things to cover. Um, instead of barrel chairs, you get the nice Liberty recliners here. Or for our Canadian customers, they have the Maple Leaf Edition, which just adheres to the uh, Canadian standards. The only main difference being like the glue they use in the lamination. It's just no big deal. Um, by the way, if one of our RVs does not have Canadian standards, it can still be sell sold to Canada. So don't get your head worked up on that. Um, instead, you know, like I said, instead of just two little barrel chairs, you actually get nice recliners, and they can really lean back if you really want to stretch out. What I like here too is how both sides uh, of the rear living area you get their own nice uh, stand. Now this one's extra large because the uh, power cord hookup it, it actually is hidden under that little box there. Now in the Liberty Edition. You get the uh, the nicer uh, blackout roller shades like you see on the left and right of those chairs here. Uh, in the uh, non-Liberty Edition, the standard Freedom Express Ultralight, you'll have a uh, nice pleated shade still. This is lumber core cabinetry that's pocket screwed, not, you know, uh, particle board that's stapled together. And I love the uh, Malibu Beach House decor that they went through here. That was actually uh, a very big recent shakeup at the Freedom Express family is uh, they drastically changed over their decors. Now, uh, those cabinets right there you notice are backlit versus uh, these cabinets up here. There's a, a couple little areas where you're going to get some neat little indirect spotlighting in a Freedom Express. You'll see it there. Uh, you'll see it under the dinette uh, bench ends like you can kind of see glowing right now. And it's a perfect little night light and accent light. Now this is a full sleeper sofa. This is a trifold that can fold right out. What's nice about its location is that when it's open you can still get in and out of the rear entry door. No big deal. You can even use the recliner that's open right next to me right now. Remember your slide side windows do open for airflow. In a Liberty Edition, you get the full extension drawers uh, under both of those dinette ends. And something that they're very good at uh, at Freedom Express is giving you full access to even the rear dinette bench. Now, most U dinettes, pretty much all of them, have storage under this rear section, but you normally have to lift up cushions to get to it. Freedom Express just has these handy little finger tabs, uh, that, that little black circle that you're looking at on the left there. You just pop your finger in there and you can slide that panel left or right. It's not expensive. It doesn't cost anything more or less to do it, I'm sure. It's just the fact that it's smarter, better. And those are the kind of little logic things where I've said for a long time, you know, every RV is the best in a diff uh, different way. But where Freedom Express has made itself just absolutely outstanding is they're loaded with little features that the, the end user, the owner, you folks at home watching this video, things that you're going to love and appreciate. Not necessarily things that are fun to talk about as a salesperson. Talking about a sliding door panel on a bench dinette, that's about as boring as it can possibly get. But you know what? For a person who actually owns this camper, that sliding, getting to that rear bench storage access, that's like the equivalent of, hey, what side of the toothpaste tube do you squeeze from? Because if you squeeze from the top, I'm gonna kill you. You know, squeeze from the bottom like a normal sane adult. Um, now your uh, table here, you can see it's free floating that can fold down into a dinette. In this floor plan, you can really get a lot of use out of that. You can slide it over here into the kitchen uh, where you can use it like an island. You can bring it over here and fold it down like a coffee table or use it like the world's greatest uh, TV tray for your uh, rear recliners back here. If you are sitting back here enjoying some TV, you can kind of have that there for you know eating dinner, just the two of you enjoying some movies or whatever. Spinning you back around, um, TV up here. This is on a swing arm. 
if you are sitting in the dinette, you want to enjoy some entertainment while, uh, you know, uh, entertaining friends over here, as it were, anything like that. Maybe you just want to eat breakfast and watch TV. Of course, I should watch the camera to make sure I'm pointing at the thing I'm talking about. I'm just that stupid sometimes. Uh, my point is, you can do that from here. You've got a handy little device charge station right below the TV. The combination of household plugs and the USB plugs on the right side mean you can pretty much charge anything right here. Electric space heating fireplace is another addition you find on the Liberty Edition over the standard ultralight. It does have LED visuals, and again, it's an electric heater. You don't have to burn up propane to add a little supplement heat to your camper. Now, when you're sitting here at a glance, there's nothing going on. You're like, whatever, I have seen this before. But again, the devil's in the details, and here's what I mean. We're going to start up top. Remember when I said outside that a Freedom Express is taller. This is a three-inch taller trailer instead of six-foot six walls like a normal trailer. Most ultralights, to try to save every little ounce of weight, they have six-and-a-half-foot walls, and then they bubble the ceiling to make it look bigger. But the problem is your, the size of your cabinets, that de is determined by the height of the wall. So by going with a taller sidewall, Freedom Expresses have taller cabinets. They have a taller slide-out. They have a taller shower. This is not a bunk model, but you'd have more room per bunk, about an inch and a half more headroom. So you're getting taller cabinets here. And I love those beautiful raised panel doors. Now, as you scroll down, that is a real tile backsplash behind the stove, by the way. Stove is uh, recessed, as is the, the stone cast sink. Stone cast sinks are rated for up to 500 degrees. Boiling water can't hurt it because boiling water can't get to 500 degrees. It evaporates by then. Um, you've got solid surface kitchen counters in a Liberty Edition, as you can see here, with that flush-mounted uh, sink cover. And this is that new uh, farm sink, the giant basin sink that is really, really becoming very popular in the industry. Uh, this is also a uh, pull-out flex-style um, sprayer faucet. You see those used in residential uh, design right now. Now, not only is your uh, countertop uh, uh, solid surface, but the rest of your tops, like his tabletop or your countertop in your bathroom, those are called thermal foil. They're a press sealed membrane so that water can't penetrate in there. But the fun doesn't stop there. Because if you notice, if you really pay attention, this has an exceptionally big countertop. The countertop on this is about a foot bigger than a normal trailer. And uh, the way you can tell that is these stoves are all the same size. Doesn't matter, you know, what brand of stove is in a camper, they're about the same size. Well, the space behind the stove then is, you know, normally you would think the same size, but you notice how deep it is here in a Freedom Express. So those little hidden appliance outlets that you see right there, this is the perfect little, like, coffee maker corner. That means more prep space. That also means bigger lower cabinets. That means deeper drawers, including the, uh, you know, Josh the RV nerd utensil drawer. Handy little name I came up with. I'm pretty sure Coachman's going to try to coin that. I I've heard people down at Coachman saying, hey, Josh, I like the way you call that the utensil drawer. Not like it's it's not like it's good marketing. It's cheese stupid marketing. It's a utensil drawer, and I called it a utensil drawer. You don't need a marketing degree for that. <laughs> now, remember the grill I talked about outside, how it's portable? Well, this handy little tray insert here, same thing. So if you want to take this outside, remember that outdoor picnic table, that floating grill? You can do that. Or it's also very easy to pull out and clean. That's another neat, neat little thing about this, because cleaning drawers ain't always easy, you know? Let me close this up. Little uh, LED indirect lights on the stove knobs. That's something I've seen out of a lot of brands all of a sudden here. Uh, I think it's just a cute thing, but you know what? At night, it'd be a good night light. Speaking of night, you want to make a night raid on the fridge? We've got a 33% bigger fridge uh, in the Liberty Edition as compared to the 6 cubic foot in the standard Freedom Express. So your upgrades uh, continue here. Now, something else they've always done well, and I think this is another reason this uh, Freedom here at Halid RV has continued to stay in our lineup where a lot of other uh, super slide rear livings haven't, is the pantry. It actually has a full big pantry, and a lot of super slide rear livings have garbage for kitchen pantry or storage space. That's an area where they've just tried to cheat too much. This has a walk-through middle bathroom, which is a hyper-space-efficient design. And remember, we have a taller shower right here. So that extra three inches of height means a taller shower. Now, for a big, tall goofball like me, I can actually stand in the shower of this. A six-and-a-half-foot camper, I have to have my head in that skylight. This one, I don't have to have my head in the skylight. That's what I like about these. Now, um, 
this, you know, this kind of stuff is pretty generic. I'm, not, I'm just going to give you a quick once over here. Remember, that is waterproof countertop stuff, though. It's what's behind us that I want to focus on. So let me go ahead and turn around here. So first of all, these two cabinet doors, they're fully mirrored. So you've got, I mean, if you're getting, getting dressed to go out, you've got basic, you know, almost full-length mirrors, as much as you're going to get in a camper. But you've got amazing space here. You've got an extra closet. You've got all this awesome deep linen storage right here. And this is another area where they've executed very well in the Freedom Express 281. And I think, again, that's part of the reason it's here. We do have a sliding pocket door to privatize our front bedroom. Remember with the second entry door here in the front bedroom, we are very travel and pack them up friendly because we can still basically get to the whole camper as a result. And not only is this taller, but you also have a full 80 inch true queen uh, residential bed or well, residential link there. So uh, queen sheets are gonna fit that no problem. Liberty Edition with that extra nose cap, you get that recessed headboard up front and there are chargers up there. So uh, that can be a nice little phone charging cubby at night. Full length hanging closets, full overhead storage cabinet, not just a shelf. And on both sides of the bed, on your bed stands, you'll find power outlets to be able to run, uh, let me get over here a little bit, CPAP machines and all that good stuff. So it's got all the bases covered, it does them well. Um, this is a, uh, a fairly generic floor plan at this point. It's just a really well executed one. And 6,500 pounds, this is, this is a full feature, very nice equipment package, lightweight RV that is going to be comfortably all day long, half ton towable for you. And that's another thing we do for you here at Haylet RV. We know vehicles, we know towing. Before we were Haylet RV, we were Haylet Auto. And in point of fact, we are still today Haylet Auto and RV. We specialize even today in uh, big towing vehicles. But, uh, you know, whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades financing, or truck and trailer package deals, we do it all at Haylet RV. We are your everything dealer. So uh, if you appreciate the information you've had in this video, uh, if this is useful to you, be sure to, you know, share, subscribe, and give my family's dealership the opportunity to work with you, uh, work with us when you're ready, in exchange for all the efforts we put here. That's all we ask, and that's fair. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.